In this video, I'd like to take a look at how we can create announcements within the conversation area within Microsoft Teams. Currently, I'm in an English Year 7 team in the general channel in the post area. So I come to the bottom of the page and I select new conversation. Beneath the conversation bar, I have a format button here. So if I click on that. So that will open up the option to either start a new conversation where I can add lots of lines and bullet points, etc., or I can create an announcement. Once I've selected the announcement, first thing I need to do is type in a headline. So my class is going on a field trip. And now that I've got the headline in, I can actually change the banner background here by clicking on the color scheme button here. That opens up a palette and I can make it quite a striking color. I can tone it down a little bit, but also to the right of that, select a background. By clicking on this, I've got the option to either choose an illustration or I can upload an image. The image can be bought in from a picture gallery, but I must make sure that any picture that I do include into the announcement can cope with being stretched. And also I do recommend that the image that you're going to use is of the highest quality, as sometimes when you upload an image, it can become uh, somewhat pixelated. With the Microsoft Education Package, I do get the option to be able to choose an illustration. And when I click on that button, I get the option to choose an image here. So we've got some general images, some more academic images, or some club sports and activities. For my announcement, I'm just going to drop into general, and I'm just going to choose this loud halo background here. Click done, and that will then insert it. Beneath that, I now need to put in a subheading. So now that I've got my subheading in, I can then put in the main body of my text. So I'm going to at mention my class. So this is the English uh, 7B team. And beneath that, I can now put in the main body of my text. The beauty of announcement is that we do get some basic Microsoft Word tool. So I can put in bold text, I can put italics in, underline stuff. But also, I do get the option of being able to put in bullet points and number points, and also include links as well. So I'm just going to put in some text. Now that I've got some instructions in, I'm going to set those to bullet points. And the next thing I wish to include is a link to a kit list so my students know what to bring and also a link to the theatre's virtual tour so my students get a flavour of what they can expect to see when they arrive. To put in the kit list link I can select insert link and I put in a text. So that's the link title in and I'm going to pull the link from SharePoint and this is my field trip kit list. I'm just going to copy a link for that. I do need to make sure that the permissions are set correctly. So I don't want my students to be able to edit this. I just want them to have it read only. Click apply. I'm going to copy that and I can drop that into the address bar and insert it. I don't want this picture here, so I'm just going to get rid of that because I do want to put another link in there. And I'm also not overly happy with this bit, so I'm just gonna so I'm just gonna put another heading in there, which will go along the lines of um, now that I've got my kit list link in, I'm just gonna put a, a link in to the virtual tour. I'm just gonna pick that up from the internet. So again, select the link icon. I can drop that in there. And just a little bit of final text in there as well. So I'm almost ready to post this into my team. However, I want to change a couple of the settings. So by default, it's set so that everybody can reply. Now, I don't want my students replying to this uh, announcement. So I'm just going to change that to only myself and the moderators can reply. So this announcement now becomes read only to my students. But not only do I have my English Year 7 class coming on this field trip, I also have another class that will be joining us. So I need to be able to post that into their team as well. And to do that, I can select 
post in multiple channels. I can choose select channels and from here I can scroll down and it's my English A level class that are coming. That's going to be posted into their channel and I can click update. So by hovering over the squares here, this is my English Year 7 class and that's my English language A level class coming as well. If I change my mind, I can just click on the cross and delete those additional channels that I've chosen. So let me just find them and put them back. And that's now added them. So I can now post this announcement out to the two teams that I've selected. And to do that, I just select the send icon at the bottom here. And that will then push my announcement out to my selected classes. I do get the option of being able to edit my announcement. So if I just come to the top of the page here, just where we've got our list of reactions, I've got the three dots, so I can select the more options menu. And I can click edit here. And that will call the announcement back. And in this case, what I can do is change the timing, for example. Once I've completed any changes, I just select the done tick at the bottom here and that will then just repost it out. By using the format button and then creating announcements is just a really good way of being able to make an eye-catching entry into the conversations area within Microsoft Teams. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe. If you hit the bell, you'll be notified every time we release a YouTube video. And in the meantime, if you scan the codes, you can gain access to further resources and also our social media sites as well. Thanks for watching.